Hey guys, Tom with Tim YJ, and today I'm going to give my review of the Sony E Series Bio Laptop VPC EA36 FG. Now, this video is also an uh, entry for Tech Kid 1000 10,000 you know, subscriber giveaway. So, let's get on with the review. First thing you'll see when you buy this laptop is its sleek design. When you open it, it feels great to be in your hands. When you open it, it's just really good. It has sleek design. The you know the monitor looks great, the keyboard looks great, the cursor looks great, everything looks great. It's just a really sleek design, looks very slim and looks very pretty. Just because it has a good design doesn't mean it's bad and spec wise. It has a 2.6 gigahertz chip that has a turbo boost up to 3.20. So supposing you need that extra boost in your RAM, all to do it'll just do that automatically for you and you'll have it smoother, you know, editing or whatever you're doing. It's equipped with the Intel Core i5 chip. And this is really good. It is really fast when I was using it. I, I think bought it two months back. But I really wanted to give it a really good one and I can say honestly that this is a really fast computer with a really great looks. It's equipped with 4 gigabytes of RAM and has a 500 gigabyte slot. So what I'm trying to say is that not only is it giving fast, you can have a lot of things in there as 500 gigabytes and 4 gigabytes of RAM. So you can say it's almost like a perfect editing partner. Let's talk about software in this baby. Um, it's equipped with Windows Home Premium 64-bit edition. This laptop doesn't have so many bloatware, for it only has basically BioGate, um, a Bio Transfer Wizard, and Download Media on the go. Also, a big, you know, like a drop-down menu that comes from top, and I think this doesn't take at all lag. Um, not much bloatware. It comes with standard Windows Home Premium, which is a 64-bit version. And since it has a lot of RAM, I wouldn't care about the bloatware. One of the bad points of this laptop is its battery life. I could barely get 5 hours out of this. Um, when I was using it in heavy use, I could probably get 4.5. And when I use it live, just normal internet browsing, I could get to 6.5. However, in those average days, I would just get 5 hours of battery. And this would really bug me because sometimes I would go to my friend's house and I would bring this laptop. It would just die on the way. Another bad thing is this, my trackpad. The trackpad really is bad. If you compare it something to like a Mac, the Mac is much more smoother. However, this has a rugged background. When scrolling, it's just not feeling uneasy. What I would recommend you is after you buy this laptop, get a mouse or, you know, buy a Microsoft 2011 Word document or something like that and you get a free mouse. Even those is much better than the standard default cursor trackpad. One of the advantages in this laptop is it's really good one touch web option. Many people just need to use the laptop for their web. They don't want to open Windows 7 that can take a long time. Well with this computer you can just click one touch web button. It will open your internet browser without starting Windows 7. So you get a really good, really fast, op starting, ready to use your internet. And when you just want to click off, there's a small button on the side that you can just power off your computer. In a nutshell, I've given you my review. I would recommend buying it. However, for the $1200 price tag, you can get much better laptops today. For example, Mac Air has Core i7, although not as much gigahertz, I think it does a pretty similar job. However, the screen resolution in this is not as good as Mac's. However, it's considerably better than most computers that I see that cheaper rates. Sometimes I see the name in brands, but sometimes I see laptops that are just worth $800 they have really good specs however the resolution of the screen is not good also don't expect to take so many pictures with the webcam the webcam um, it's not really good quality it's not meant for something like photo booth or Mac or you know a fun thing it's just really just meant for sake so guys this was my review on the Sony E-Series Bio Laptop VPC EA36 FG. I hope you liked it. If you consider buying it, please let me know in the comments. Also, this is a contest entry for Tech Kid 1000, 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So guys, I hope you like it. Tech Kid, I hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Peace.